Hey, what's going on everybody? We are back with some more Genshin Impact. Today we are going to be getting started on the second act of Rex Lapis's story. But first, we need to do some of our usual daily things like going to our battle pass. Oh my god, why are my thumbs dumb today? <laughs> Doing this, and we also need to go to the Serenity Pot, which I haven't went there in a few days, so I don't know how much coin I have built up. So let's see what we got going on there, because it's been a hot minute. Unlocked a whole bunch of things last stream. Oh yeah, I have one of these wishes, I forgot, or one of these fates, so should probably do that sometime today. All right, let me whip out the teapot. And actually, let's do that wish right now. It's just a single. Probably won't be anything, but let's give it a shot. There. And I don't know what I was at last time with some of the stuff, so... Okay, yeah, pretty low, 50. Yeah, I bought a whole bunch of the of the uh, fates that we usually do. We're up to nine. We just need one more, and then we're just gonna wait until the next uh, the next new character comes out and do the ten drop there. So yeah, let's check out our place first. Then we'll pop back out and uh, start the uh, Rex Lapis story. Which I'm so excited for because his was probably out of all of like the character side stories I think his was probably my favorite that we've done Tubby. maybe you're not used to the place at the moment all right let's check our rank and see how many coins we have ho oh, ho we almost have maxed out coins yeah I haven't been here in like two days I think two or three days almost Boom, six hundo. And we're at a cozy rating. Um, let's see here. We almost got it knocked up to the next rating. Hopefully, with uh, everything that we just got, we'll be able to knock it up. Maybe. Although, to be fair, I don't think I have enough materials. So, we might be able to purchase some, but we might not be able to make them. I want to stock up on these. Let's say refresh every couple of every. Uh... Oh, it refreshes in nine hours. Okay, so yeah, I just want to buy those up, and try to just like keep buying them as it refreshes, just so I have like a stockpile of them. And we still have six hundred. I want to try to look and see what like the most expensive blueprint stuff is, which I'm assuming is probably closer to the bottom. Yeah, here's like 240. Yeah, here's the stuff that we've bought in. Wall sword. Yeah, just a bunch of wall stuff. External stuff. Oh, hello. Some expensive bookshelves. Right, let's buy one of these. One of these. Oh, and actually, shoot. Um, I should have checked my map. Let's see if the... Okay, the little bird seller that was over here is gone. So I guess he's off the table as an option. Maybe you are not you um, let's just have what we bought and see if we can make it. Definitely cannot. God, we are... So low on a lot of wood items. Oh, is it the same wood? It is the same wood. Okay. I forgot. I have to go in my inventory, read the blueprints before I can do it. That one extra step, that is so useless. And I find it weird that it's in this area. Like, I don't know why they just don't have a blueprint tab or something. Because we do it with a lot of different things. With, like, crafting and smithing, so it's like, might as well have its own tab. Alright, there we go. We have it, so let's see what what it takes to make it. And we'll try crafting both of them. Oh, 
Oh, sweet. Okay, so yeah, I haven't used too much of the, um, yeah, this wood at all. So all we need is the red dye, which we can just make up right now. Hopefully. I'll just make 20. I think one needed nine. I don't know what the other one needed. Damn it. Wrong button press. Maybe you're not you. Haha. <laughs> Alright, that one needed eight. Oh, eight. I thought it was nine and nine. Dang it. Alright. Alright, and since we did buy those new. Yes, alright, sweet. Got knocked up. Alright, sweet. And now we got the third spot open, so we could just do a bunch of crafting. Yeah, and like I said the other day, I'm pretty sure it's only new crafting new stuff that gets us points, and crafting old stuff that we've already made before doesn't doesn't do us anything. Or wood. Alright. Uh, let me look that up. I think we could probably just get some of that super quick. Um, I'm thinking that's the wood that's on the mountain. I'm not 100% on it, but I want to double check. So let me just Google. Am I right? Or is this other stuff? Oh, it is other stuff. I'm gonna find some locations to where it's at. Oh, okay, got it, got it. So it's like the pine trees in Mondstadt, basically, is what it is. All right. We can pop out and do that, but first let's, uh... Oh. Oh yeah, we do get... I think we get rewards, don't we? Actually, for leveling it up. Rank bonus. Oh yeah, we get a little house and ten... of these, uh, little... things, which I believe... I think this is the last one that we get from the level up system. Yeah, from here on out, it's just, like, buildings... Level 7 looks awesome. 9 looks okay. Level 10 looks really disappointing. Like, the windmill's okay, but this little shop is just like, really? But hey, we're up to level 4 already. Which means... Oh no, we're still short for, uh, bumping up... How much we make. But, uh, let's go place the bookshelves. And then we can start the Rex Lapis story. We'll just do that. I'll hold off on chopping down wood and all that later. Off stream. Yeah, I haven't placed anything in here yet. We just throw down these bookshelves. Dang it. Um, trying to figure out a good place to put it. It looks like those little buttresses that are sticking out kind of just screwed me. Alright, close enough. And then what's this? Oh yeah, some more blueprint stuff. 
save. Right, let's get out of here. Ah, oh, we're so close. We're getting the next level. We're like literally within like what 80, 70 points. Um, I think I still need have some stuff I need to place. Aha, we have a wall, sword. Unfortunately, last time I tried to place it, it wouldn't pop up, and it looks like it's not popping up again as well. I go and select it, and it just does not. Alright. Hmm, let's place this in here. It turned blue like us for a second. Dang it, I had it. There, place it. Mm, I think that might give us enough points. I don't know, it might have to be new items in each room. Oh my god! That barely gave us any points. Alright. That's lame. All right. Let's collect this. And get the hell out of here and start this new quest. A new adventure. All right, there we go. So, let's go to our quests. Actually, wait, hold on. No, we did get some new stuff for quests. Um, I'm not sure what they are, though. So these are just two new quests that we have. Anyway, doesn't matter. Those are going on back burner. Let's get into this. Unlock. Ooh. And I think that might be a different sigil for Act 2. I can't recall what his logo was for the first act. Cliff is known for its views. Okay, for a second there I was like, wait, is it in town? And it's like, it's never in town. <laughs> it's all the way over there. Yep. Alright. Looks like it's at the Adventurer's uh, kiosk that's there. I wonder if this is going to continue directly off of the last one, or if it's just going to be a brand new adventure with him. I do know it's going to tie in the boss. 
somehow, and I don't know if that's going to be tied into the uh, Goddess of Salt. Or God of Salt? It was a female, but I think they just said God of Salt, not, like, Goddess. I don't know if, like, their title was gender-specific. As a matter of fact, there's one that looks perfect for you two. Uncle Dai is one of the foremen at Huishan Hall over in Liyue Harbor. He's hoping the Adventurer's Guild can spare some manpower. What is it we have to do exactly? Wait. I thought this whole place was called Liyue Harbor, but she was referring to it as if we were somewhere else. <laughs> I believe you'll be looking for workers. Looking for people? Awesome! We're good at that! I have no reason to doubt your abilities. Oh, I think she means like da like literally on the docks of the harbor. Alright. I'm sure the details can be worked out face to face. If you're willing to accept this commission, head over to the dock and talk to Uncle Okay, Dad. there we go. I was confused when she referred to this whole place as that. I'm like, we're already at Liwe Harbor. Of course, down by the docks. Yeah, last time we ran into Rex, he was over on that fancy boat out in the harbor. Which I really hope they do something more with it. And especially with the pirate boat that's way out over there. Well, it's not a pirate boat, but like the other boat that's like way out there. Uh, there we go. Oop. I am indeed. Ah, now then. You must be the adventurers assigned by the guild. Huh? How could you tell? <laughs> by the clothes on your back and the look on your face. Experienced adventurers at that, I'll wager. Right again? You're pretty perceptive! Yes, this floating child and young man in odd clothing are clearly... <laughs> ...experienced. <laughs> in this trade, you need a sharp eye for people, not just rocks. Uncle Di can see what you're made of from a long way off. Alright, my assistant should be arriving soon, so let's just wait here a moment. Woo woo! That's why we're here! Now there's someone else taking a cut? Well, to tell you the truth, this is a very difficult matter. Too much for adventurers alone to handle life here. It uh, just occurred to me that you don't have all the facts. The incident in question happened in a mine, and it's a little out of the ordinary, to say the least. Mines are dangerous places, as I'm sure you're aware. As such, I've enlisted an industry expert to hmm. cover all contingencies. Attack, Paimon. Attack! Last time I checked, adventurers weren't experts in ore appraisal or geological analysis. With a professional by your side, everything should run smoothly. Besides, this guy's the best in his field. No matter the rock, he'll tell you its value to the nearest mora at a glance. I'd go as far to say that there's not a soul in Tevat that knows rocks better than him. I'd be a fool to not enlist an expert of his caliber. You're a fool if you think you found Tevat's number one rock expert. Oh? And why might that be? Because Tevat's number one rock expert happens to be a friend of ours. Oh god. Zhang Li. Oh yeah, he's probably at the shop, at the um, food place, wherever. I just prefer to call him Rex Lapis. Just like... Child's name is Tartaglia, but it's like... Everyone calls him Child. God dang. There he is.
In our last tale, Rex Lapis. Zhang Li, there you are! Oh, here for a few tales. I didn't know you two were connoisseurs. Oh, no, no, we're here for you. Um, do you have time? Ah, something I'm rarely short of. We need someone who understands geology and ore. Hmm. Someone who understands geology and ore. Ugh. Take a look around. Is there anyone in Tevat more qualified? The requester claims to have enlisted Tevat's number one rock expert. But Paimon doesn't believe a word of it. Nobody understands rocks better than you. <laughs> you appear to have taken his claim quite personally on my behalf. Oh, no, no. It's just... Uncle Dai doesn't know what he's talking about. Paimon just wants to enlighten him. <laughs> I see. Well, then, it will be my pleasure to accompany you. Really? But I should inform you that despite my expertise, I cannot necessarily claim to be a leading authority. We are at all times adrift in a sea of learning. New knowledge should be welcomed with open arms. Still, I imagine I will be of help to you in this endeavor. If we do encounter an expert, I look forward to broadening my own understandings. Young Lee. Well, we got him. Let's head back to Uncle Dai. Honestly, I was half expecting his rock expert to be him. be the friend you spoke of? Yep. Paimon doesn't know who your rock expert is, but he's got nothing on our guy. <laughs> Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Still, I do have a claim to some experience in this field. Uh-huh. So you say. Wait till my guy gets here. Then we'll see. It's no use me singing his praises. You'll have to see for yourselves. Uh, is this the place? Aha! Speak of the devil. Allow me to introduce my assistant, Kun Jun. Young Kun, these are two adventurers assigned to us. And as for this gentleman... Huh? Uh... Wangshung Funeral Parlor's consultant. Mr. Zhang Li, I've heard about you. They say you're a man of great knowledge and many talents. I had no idea I'd be meeting you in person today. I am sure I recognize you. Have we met at the parlor? Wait, I've never been to the parlor. Uncle Dai, aren't you gonna test them? Huh? I... I wouldn't know where to start. Then they can figure out a way to test each other. If Zhang Li wins, he's the assistant. If Zhang Li loses... Uh, uh, never mind, Zhang Li won't lose. A contest? Why, it would be my pleasure. I admire your enthusiasm, good sir. <laughs> I must say, you certainly have the look of an industry expert about you. It'll be interesting to see which one of us wins. Stop talking the talk and start walking the walk! I'm just saying it like I see it. <laughs> which is, incidentally, the only skill I have worth talking about. So you're an appraiser, Mr. Kunjun. Well, no. Actually, I've already forgotten what I'm in Liyue Harbor for. I was standing by the side of the road one day when Uncle Dai called me over. He saw me holding a rock and asked me a few questions. He seemed incredibly excited, even followed me for a while. We arranged to meet here. Huh? How could you forget something like that? I saw him on my way over to Liyue Harbor, pouring over rocks and muttering to himself. He looked to be very familiar with them. I asked him a few questions out of curiosity. To my surprise, he knew more than me, an old mining foreman. In any case, he didn't have any pressing matters and agreed to help me. So, do you have a poor memory? Not exactly. Anyway, if it's rocks you need help with, I can most certainly lend a hand. 
Mr. Zhongli, what do you make of this rock? Hmm. A glossy exterior. With a fissure that could only have been left in the wake of a volcanic eruption. If I'm not mistaken, this is a rough gem from another nation. Ah, a keen eye. It's no ordinary rough gem. Fragile surface layer, black veining. My intuition tells me that there's high-quality crystal ore inside. Remarkable! This rock does indeed hail from the vicinity of a volcano. I came across it in a market and snapped it straight up. The seller thought it was some leftover industrial remnant. They had no inkling of the treasure that lay within. Sorry about that. All right. Um. Purity and geological rarity alone aren't enough to make a treasure. Some of the most precious crystals contain deposits of water or sand. In the moment of its formation, the crystal hidden within this stone shell captured a pocket of water. For water to be hidden in its depths, like a moon concealed within a mountain, reflecting shafts of daylight that make it through. Now that's a rare treasure. Such a detailed description. Almost like he saw it with his own two eyes. Say, you're not trying to hoodwink us, are you? After all, we haven't even seen what's inside yet. Everything he said is true. Most crystals are born in high-temperature environments. Heat and water aren't natural bedfellows, of course, which is why crystals with water deposits are so sought after. Moreover, this particular crystal contains mountain lake water. A rare find indeed. Well, if Zhongli says so, it must be true. I've yet to encounter anyone with a judgment as shrewd as yours, Mr. Zhongli. How did you know exactly what lay within? I've seen many such stones in my time. I recognized it immediately. I hope you didn't mind me flaunting my experience, Mr. Kunjun. Of course not! I feel I've met a kindred spirit here today. I hope you will accept my friendship. Uncle Dai, it would be a mistake for Mr. Zhongli not to join us. Trust me when I say that his level of expertise is unrivaled in the trade. You won't come across another of his caliber in your lifetime. Very well. There is strength in numbers, after all. Everyone, follow me to the chasm. There are men counting on you to find them. To the chasm! Hmm. Okay, is this near the mining facility or is this further out? No, it looks like it's right at the mining facility. Alright, um, let's pop up here. We haven't really explored that corner of the map too well. Like, we've been there, but I haven't really done, like, an intense, like, look around, trying to find a bunch of treasure chests and whatnot. Because I know there are ruins in the middle of a, I don't know, lake, I think. That'd be more of just a river situation going on. Anyway. Let's actually hop down there and look around. I can see a treasure chest already. And a Sealy. Oh, we haven't seen a Sealy in a while. One that's free floating. Carrots. Right, let's start at the bottom and work our way up. Ooh, okay, another church just over here. Yeah, we're gonna try to go slow through this. Oh, what? Alright. And he saw a geo sigil right here. Yeah. Oh, another Sealy over there. God, there's so many things here. <laughs> another test subject. Oh yes, I also forgot to say I got Razor up to the level 80 cap. 
which is like the highest level we can get at right now until we raise our world level. So I worked on that the last a couple of days. The wrong test subject. There's this guy over here. One swing now, Jesus. Alright, there's a church just over there. Let's just take the main way in over here. We got those two boys. Just follow the path up. I was hoping to knock him back. Oh. Never mind, I thought it was just gonna be deep water. Mm. Let's get more of this ore. Yeah, I have not picked up too much of this ore, so... I'm pretty low on it, and quite a few characters are actually using it to level up now, so... I need to get myself as much of that uh, core lapis as possible. Oh, there we go. That's the kind of lowbrow shit I'm looking for. Booyah. You and your terrible luck as soon as you come out. Everybody stand back. There we go. No, okay, there's another one. I wanna look around everywhere and make sure. Try to get as many as possible. Oh, more of those floaty things. Okay. Its shoulder plates are moving around, but like doesn't seem to be getting up. Just there, treasure here. Let's see if this works. Hup. Oh, it's going across the ladder. Nailed it. 
I wasn't sure if that was gonna work or not. And he's like right below us. No. Mm. I made it even worse. <laughs> like usual. wanted to climb up and jump over. Dang it. He got us. He bubbled us. Lord, that was kind of big explosion. Oh, that hit nothing. Right, there we go. Took him out. I'm just looking around trying to make sure. Yeah, all right. But there was no other hidden nonsense anywhere. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> just get Razor back up and pop this. Yes, some more level up paper. Pop on Amber. At the ready. Huh. Huh. 
Nice. All right. Let's get this treasure chest over here, and this will be the last one we'll grab, and then we'll head back onto uh, doing the main story. Is there more? What happened here? It activated something. It made a sound. Ah, there it is. All right. Sweet. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> ah, I got dirt in my eyes. Pocket sand. He pocket sanded me. You're open. Yes, some more level up paper. Alright, yeah, that's gonna be it for that. So let's climb up here. I'm gonna go nice and slow just to make sure that we make it up there. We probably will, but still, I wanna be safe. Right there, right. This might be cutting it close. Now we should make it. There we go. Ooh. All right, yeah, over at the main entrance to the mines. I still haven't gotten that treasure chest. Not for much longer. It will be ours.
Oh, was that it? That was a two for nice. Bye -bye. Let's hope that takes care of him. Oh no, still alive. Okay. Death blow. This is where the incident occurred. Six days ago, a group of us left the site to attend to other matters. When we returned, the four men we'd left behind had vanished. I led a team around the entire mine, but found no trace. That's when I decided to enlist help. So four miners have disappeared. Yes, there were ten of us. We lost Long, Bold Sen, Brave Sen, and Mao. I worked with all of them. Workers in this trade are usually young men in the prime of their lives. Could it be that the four of them left for another mine? <sighs> Unlikely. There's no other lodging for miles around, and we didn't pass any other mines on the way over. Huh. Such a huge mine. Did you really manage to explore every corner? Underground, overground. We left no stone unturned. We tried everything short of... Digging further into the earth itself. How could four sturdy young men just vanish into the bedrock? We'll need to explore the site ourselves before extracting any conclusions. Very well. I'll wait here. Please, proceed wherever you'd like. If you come across any clues, let me know straight away. Must have been a rock monster? few everyday items. They must belong to Uncle Dai and his men. One, two, three, four... Huh, that seems right. Ten shirts, ten pairs of trousers. These must be spares, right? Look, Uncle Dai's clothes are identical. The four of them have been gone for six days without a change of clothes. There's also a few handkerchiefs and some soap lying around. Oh, and some tool belts! Items for washing one's face before the dawn shift. Mining equipment. So, they didn't take any supplies! Hmm. Correct. Improbable. There are four pickaxes missing. It seems likely they left with the tools of their trade. They had time to take their tools, but not their everyday items? Curious. Huh. Why would someone set off with their tools, but leave their luggage behind? One, they were working close by and didn't need to move their personal effects. But seeing as they've yet to return, this seems an unlikely hypothesis. Or two, they were forced to leave and had no time to think about their supplies. It's certainly a possibility. We'll need more clues before any further inference can be made. If they didn't leave, maybe they were made to leave. Let's make a note and let Uncle Dai know. It was... a kidnapping. Oh wait, what? It says it's over here still.
Tune, what do you have there? Oh, right on time. Did you find anything? There's a chunk of ore here. Perhaps there are clues within. Ore? What does it have to do with the disappearance? Let's find out. I'll give it a try. A moment, please. <sighs> okay. Concentrating really hard. What's he up to? I see four men following someone out of the mine. It it looks like a child. A child? What's a child doing in a mine? I'm not sure. Also, how did you see anything exactly? Oh, I don't mean see in the traditional sense. I, I, I would appreciate it if what I'm about to tell you remained a secret. It's a little odd. I've never dared to tell anyone before. I can perceive the memories of Orr. Huh? Perceive? So there's no conjecture at work? You mean you can put your hand on a rock and... Boom! It just happens? I've always sensed that ore contains memories. Sometimes it records events that occur in the surrounding area. All I have to do is touch one and focus my attention, and the memories come to me. Amazing! So you can find out everything that ever happened there! It depends on the ore. Some ores have astounding memories. Others, like iron ore and white iron ore, aren't up to much. Their memories are hazy. Core lapis and crystal memories are much stronger. They record more events and in greater detail. Stone seeing. <laughs> Fascinating. A rare ability indeed. It was prudent of Uncle Dai to recruit you, Mr. Kunjun. <laughs> I'm glad I can be of assistance. Based on what I saw, I believe they followed this path. This will take us north, away from the mine. North? Another clue for Uncle Dai! Let's make a note of it! Windblade! Excuse me, sir. Are you one of the workers here? Ah, yes, yes. You must be here about the disappearance. Please, find them if you can. I... I don't know what happened. The weather was gloomy that day. The foreman left with a few men. I stayed behind with the other four. After a while, I decided to take a break, just to catch my breath. I ended up falling asleep in the shelter inside. When I woke up, there was no sight of them. I'd only just been speaking with them and suddenly they'd vanished. Maybe, maybe I'm next. Maybe you are. So the men that were out working disappeared with the only one left to tell the tale having been asleep in a shelter. Perhaps an accident occurred on site. Oh, what a scary thought. An on-site accident. We should note that down too. Found some clues. Time to report back to Uncle Dai. <laughs> You're back. How are the investigations going? Terrible, terrible. We found three clues in the vicinity. First, there are four missing pickaxes. Yet everyday items are still in their place. This suggests that your men didn't leave of their own accord, but were forced to. Forced to? But who would kidnap miners? Pedophiles, no. 
Second, there were five workers at the mine. Damn it, wrong miners! <laughs> the site to take respite. When he awoke, his colleagues had disappeared without a trace. Those who kept working all disappeared. The one who left early emerged safe and sound. It would appear that the incident occurred on site. Now that you mention it, I recall Bravo saying that he took a break. Could someone have entered the site and simply walked away with them? This leads me to my third point. Mr. Kun Jun here made good use of his uh, expert techniques to arrive at a conclusion. It was a child that took your men away. A child? But there are no settlements here for miles around. There's no way a child would have made it over to the mine. Unlikely as it sounds, that's our conclusion. Your men were following a child. Where did they go? We believe that they followed the road north, away from the mine and toward the ruins. North? Right. I'll rally my men and head in pursuit. You've been invaluable to the investigation, but leave the legwork to us. If we set off now and make haste, we might be able to catch them. Not so fast. The incident occurred six days ago. Even if they set out on foot, they will have covered a lot of ground by now. You're right. New plan. I'll lead my search party over to the settlements further out and make some inquiries. There are only a few settlements around here with lodging for the night. We'll go investigate and see if we can come up with anything. In the meantime, you could keep looking for clues. If we don't see each other, let's reconvene at Wang Shu Inn tomorrow evening. Agreed. All right. Me and my men will get going. They're all dead. Talk to the people over at the settlements while we keep investigating here. Correct. But there aren't any more clues at the mine. Shouldn't we go north? Wait. I believe we're missing someone. Huh? Oh, yeah! Where's Kunjun? Prime on Betsy's still investigating. Let's go find him. Let's uh, take a pause for a second. You opened up quite a few treasure chests, so I just want to check and see. Oh, just enough. Just enough. Now we got. We should have 10. We do, we have 10. Alright, and when does this expire? In 13 days. Hmm. I'll hold off. If I'm able to get 30, I'll do another 10 drop on this and see if we can get Rex Lapis. We will see. We will all see. Alright, so let's figure out why those miners were following a miner. I had that joke locked and loaded. <laughs> Kunjun, what are you searching for? We're all out of clues. Let's get going. Miner seeking miner. That's a special victims joke. <laughs> Waiting to happen. Ah, apologies. I'm conducting a quick search for my own benefit. I'm looking for a precious stone known as Dragonfall. Dragonfall. Hmm. Dragonfall is often used in forging. What use do you have for it? I... I don't know. I, I'm sorry. I, I don't recall why I'm seeking it. I've been feeling very... absent lately. Name and address aside, I'm having trouble remembering things. In fact, I've been feeling extremely anxious. As if there's something I've forgotten to finish. It's an unpleasant sensation. Oh, Paimon knows that feeling. When you know you've forgotten something, but you can't remember exactly what it is. 
I don't even know where to start with it. I've been aimlessly wandering. That day at the market, I overheard a conversation while I was buying something. They mentioned Dragonfall. It sounded so familiar to me, as if whatever it was I had to do was linked to that stone. So, I decided to look for some. Perhaps if I can retrieve some, I'll remember what it is I have to do. I see. If I am able to during our endeavor, I will help you look for this stone. Really? Oh, thank you, Mr. Zhongli. You're too kind. Think nothing of it. Shouldn't we get going? Heading north from the chasm will reach Lingju Pass. If this is indeed the path they chose, there will be traces. Great! Let's have a look! I have a feeling that the special item that we get from the boss is probably going to be that dragon stone. Or dragon fall. No whopper flowers today. I have a bad feeling. Wait! There are tracks here! These must have been left by the miners! Let us make our way to the end of Lingju Pass. If there are no footprints there, it would suggest that the miners are still within the pass itself. However, if we find new tracks, we can follow them wherever they may lead. Gonna take the high road. Oh yeah, there's this weird metal pipe. I've always been wondering what the heck that's up with. Huh, all right, weird. Hey, footprints! It would appear that they made their way through Lingju Pass and kept moving. If we follow their footprints, we should be able to find where they went. <gasps> oh no, the footprints end here. We should inquire with anyone nearby. If the miners came through here, they may well have seen them. Fuck. Old man's dead. <laughs> Hello! Have you seen any miners nearby? About this tall? Four of them? Stop bothering me! Can't you see I'm cloud watching? Jeez! A little grumpy, aren't we? Whatever. Someone else. Hi there. Have you seen anyone dressed like a miner around here? A miner? I'm afraid not. Uh, let's try someone else. Alright. 
Sorry about the low energy today, guys. I did not get a lot of sleep last night. And as you can see, I am trying to stay awake. But if I'm coming across very low energy, that's just because I'm sleepy. But I'm still super happy to do this. <laughs> About four or five days ago, there were a few men who came through here carrying baskets and picks. I guess that could have been them. Yeah, that's them! Four or five days ago? It appears that they were moving slower than we'd anticipated. Traversing the geography of Lingju Pass must have held them up. It was so strange. Four big guys with lifeless expressions. It was like they were in some sort of trance. And there was a child staggering in front of them. Huh. Uh, this child. Did you see what they look like? I caught a glimpse. Blue hair. Short. I think... I think it was a girl. She wasn't smiling. In fact, she looked very serious. And they took this road? Yes. They followed it straight from here. Let's go after them. Hmm. One second. Just double checking everything going smoothly. All right. Let's go find our miners chasing miners. How many times am I gonna make that joke until I stop laughing about it? <laughs> it's probably gonna be a while. I'm the funniest person I know. I need to rewatch King of the Hill. It's been a hot minute. I love that show. More footprints. <gasps> There's a person over there. Help! Please save me. I'm. Is that one of the people we're looking for? Oh, rescue first. Ask questions later. Oh shit! They're in some hot biz. Double Sonic the Hedgehog over here. There we go, there we go. Getting some chunky damage on these boys. Got one and the other one's not happening. I taste blood. God, I hate the distance that these things cover. It's such a huge area. Yes. Meanwhile, at the victim. Those monsters were so aggressive. They must have noticed me walking through. Before I knew it, they were all over me. Thank you all for saving me. My name is Wanyu. I belong to Liyue's Shengyu Hall. I head up our human culture and civilization research. Huh? Are you sure you're not a miner? A miner? Yeah, we're looking for a group of four strong fellas carrying mining equipment. I... I think I saw those people. Really? Yes. I set off from Nantianmen the day before yesterday, heading for Lingju Pass. About halfway there, I came across some people. A few men, and a child. I was in a hurry. I didn't get a good look. I'm afraid I'm not even sure what they looked like. Apologies. 
I think that's all we needed to hear. Thank you. I hope it's useful to you. I'd better get going. There's a conference I need to attend. Again, thank you all for your help. According to this scholar, the miners were heading for Nantiamun. Can we be absolutely sure that it was the men that we're looking for? A child with a group of adults sounds pretty close to Paimon. Uh, but... Hey, perhaps that rock over there can tell us more. Aha! Paimon nearly forgot about our secret weapon! It looks promising. I'll do my best. Geo hacker. Getting all the info out of these hot, hot rocks. Hmm. Huh. It's the same group, all right. They followed this road. <laughs> Mr. Kunjun. Your stone seeing is something I won't forget in a hurry. I suppose it is an asset, though I rarely find a use for it. But praise for Mr. Zhongli is high praise indeed. It's a good thing we brought our Kunjun compass along. We would have lost all sense of direction a long time ago. <laughs> you think so? I guess it's been a worthwhile trip then. It feels like... like we're cracking a criminal case. It's a lot of fun. Be that as it may, we would do well to keep our guards high. Four fully grown men in a trance-like state, walking ceaselessly day and night, over hills and mountains led by a child. This is no ordinary incident. Oh, you're quite right, Mr. Zhongli. We should have our wits about us. That's not all. Our scholar was attacked by Geovishop Hatchlings. But the level of aggression they exhibited was unusual. We have encountered many clues along the way. So far, they've pointed us in the right direction. Hmm. The miners headed in the direction of Nantienmen the day before yesterday. From here, they would have had to navigate a perilous mountain road. If their destination is indeed Nantienmen, we should be able to catch up with them. Great! No time to lose! I left a mark in the vicinity just now. If Uncle Dai does pass through here, it should guide him to us. Clever thinking! A classic Zhongli move! Oh my god. Oh, we can't murder it. What is this? Oh, it's right near that door. Sorry, I thought I hit teleport. Miners? Yes, probably. There's a basket lying here, too. This must be one of the miners. Hey! Hello? Can you hear us? Judging by his appearance, he must have collapsed from exhaustion. Should we wake him up? I can... I can still dig. Oh, sounds like he's whispering something. It seems that he thinks he still has work to do. Something's not right. There's a camp nearby. We should take him there and monitor his condition before deciding our next move. He... he won't die, right? 
He's worked himself into a stupor. Thankfully, he's not in serious danger. Hyman heard him talking about digging for something. Did he dig himself into this state? It's certainly a possibility. Hmm? It looks like there's something in his pocket. Are these... ore fragments? Hmm... I just witnessed the memories within these ore fragments. This person brought these fragments out of the mine. He's one of the four that we're searching for. How he came to be here is what we need to understand. So he was kidnapped, and then abandoned here. But if they didn't need him, why bring him all the way out here? Unless something happened. Something that led him to fall behind. Oh, wait a moment. Seeing these fragments has jogged my memory. I have something for you. What is it? Oh, is it a present? Something for us? As I mentioned, before I met Uncle Dai, I was in a daze. After setting out with you on this case, it feels like a fog is lifting. I was so happy when Uncle Dai enlisted you to help. I would never have managed to track down these clues by myself. These are some crystals that I bought from the market. Not any old crystals, mind you. This purity is extraordinarily rare. One for each of you. A memory, if you will. It's beautiful. Oh, and the colors change as you turn it. It's like a different crystal from each angle. But of course, take it. And this one is for Mr. Shongli. Uh. Huh? I is something wrong? Not to your liking? On the contrary. I just hadn't anticipated receiving a gift during the current circumstances. But thank you. I will take good care of it. I'm pleased you like them. It's nice to be able to give a gift that others can appreciate. Oh, I see more rocks over there. You should all get some rest. I'm going to scan the surroundings. Perhaps there are more memories to uncover. You sure like rocks, huh, Kunjun? Ores are the crystals of the earth. The sediment of time itself. I feel at peace among them. Get some rest and call me when you're ready to set off. I won't be far. Rest easy. I surveyed the area. There's no danger here. Oh, however, there is something I wanted to discuss with you. Huh? What's with the seriousness all of a sudden? Traveler, does Dragonfall mean anything to you? You mean the ore that Kunjun's looking for? What's so special about it? Dragonfall is an incredibly rare ore used in forging. The majority of regular crystals are formed in high temperature environments. Dragonfall, on the other hand, is formed as a product of elemental reactions. Elemental reactions can produce material objects? <sighs> Indeed they can. However, only a minority can survive for long periods of time. Dragonfall first emerged in the midst of a great battle thousands of years ago. Powerful clashes of elemental energy gave birth to elemental crystals. When the fighting ceased, these geological remnants were miraculously preserved. And yet they are crystal creations all the same. Few and far between, relatively unknown. A few hundred years ago, they were virtually mined into obscurity. Why is it then that a citizen of Liu now wishes to strike upon ore that has long since vanished from the earth? Yeah, if he knows of its existence, surely he knows all of it's already been mined. Weird. Hyman doesn't get it. There are those in the mining trade who retain a keen interest in Dragonfall. But for someone like Mr. Kunjun, whose motivations for seeking it are unclear even unto himself, it's practically unheard of. Ulterior motives? <gasps> Is he a villain? 
A conclusion that is presently impossible to reach. We must watch and wait. Don't forget, rescuing those miners is the primary objective. As for anything else, sooner or later the tide will reveal the lie of the land. We're drawing closer to our goal. I believe we should continue to follow this road through. Now that we've found one, the others won't be far away. When you're well rested, call Mr. Kunjun over to us. We still have more investigation ahead. We should ensure this miner is settled here at the camp. Once we've brought this matter to a close, we can return and attend to him. Mr. <laughs> Oh, Arcane Stone, I believe. Isn't that the same kind of stone that we're using in this event? The energy amplifier? Yeah, it looks like the same. So yeah, I bought a lot of stuff in here already. I've already gotten the uh, crown and I also got all the uh, primo gem from in here. I'm just waiting for act three to unlock. Yeah, unfortunately, I haven't had much progress this. I was only able to get 2,000 unlocked. Um, I haven't really replayed the first uh, fight. There's a total of four different um, boss fights that you can do. I haven't replayed the first one, but the second one I did okay with. I still need to like fine-tune it. Uh, I'd say the second fight was a lot easier than the first fight. And we still need to do these two. This one, oh my god, I'm just so close on that one. I need to uh, look this up to see what's like some good like teams that you should build for going through floor 6. Because yeah, I got completely stalled out in chamber 2 on floor 6. And if we get to chamber 3, we get to unlock something in our adventurer guidebook. And I still need to do this fight as well. Yeah, it just feels like everyone gives out these two orange, like, group, um, artifacts. Like, I have so many of this red one, it's ridiculous. Alright. What else was I to do? Yeah, you know what, guys? I'm sorry, I'm so freaking tired tonight, and I don't know why. It is early, too. Like, it is not late for me at all. But, I can barely keep my eyes open, and I know with these, they're usually very dialogue-heavy. And I know there's probably going to be a boss fight coming up soon, but... I want to make sure that I'm on it when I fight him, so I think what we're going to do... is call it early for today, and then on Thursday, we're going to do a long stream instead. Hopefully by then, my sleep schedule will be back to normal, i.e. I actually get some sleep tonight. <laughs> well, yeah, unfortunately I'm going to call it a little bit early today. But it seems like a good point to call it early. We're in a bit of an intermission. Uh, you're just going to head up there and uh, try to catch these miners. But yeah, um... Let's see here. I smell. Yeah, I still have not really used. I yeah, as you can see, she's still level one. I haven't used her at all. Hmm. It was so surprising finding out she was an archery character. Did not realize it. Um, let's see here. Yeah, Razor. He's up to level eighty now. And as you can see, 
I definitely, I have no more of those electric uh, triangle thingies. Uh, these. The um, lightning prism. I spent all those on... What's her face? Her. I got her up so her cap is now 60. Because I want to try to raise up some other lightning characters. Um, I also want to... Not her. Her. I want to raise her up. And it does kind of drive me crazy. If you ever want to trade tactics, I'm always ready. When they don't color coordinate. Because so many of the characters, they do color coordinate. Like their element and their outfit. So when they don't, it's just like... Why? Like the character looks nice, but at the same time, she's like... Purple electricity. <sighs> I think it would be cool if they changed the color of the electricity, though. Like... For the symbol, it can be purple, but when the person uses it, it could be like a different color. That could also be a neat thing that like kind of differentiates it. Like a uh, water, maybe you can have like a lighter blue opposed to a darker blue. Lightning, you could obviously do like the whole gambit. If you ever want to trade tactics, I'm always ready. And actually, her she is almost up to cap. Let's just pop her up. Boom. Oh, 50 cap. And I think what? She's only need. Yeah, she only needs four of those. Opposed to Razor that needs freaking 20 of them. Um, Rosaria. I need to level up some more. Uh, Yenfei. We just got her. Um, let's see here. Wow, we haven't really been using Amber a lot recently. Usually she was our go-to archer, but then we got uh, Ganyu, and I kind of started using her more. Uh, look at this. I think Barbara... Oh yeah, Barbara is the highest friendship rated character. We got her up to level 9 on our friendship meter. Uh, Razor? I'm kind of surprised Razor isn't a bit closer. Since he's almost always on the team. He's level 8. And then level 7. But yeah, Barbara, god. I don't know what the cap is. Is it 10 or 12? Is the uh, friendship cap, I think, maybe? Ridiculous. Um. But yeah. I'm probably gonna... Yeah, 6-3. We just need to get that and... Just work on those stupid freaking uh, artifacts. Which honestly, I'm out of actual like materials to level them up. So it's like, I need to hardcore open up some chests to get some more materials so I can actually level them up. Because I'm at the point where it's like all the um, artifacts that I have, I'm like using. It's like shit, man. I've opened like 500 chests all together. Probably more. And you always get artifacts in those chests. And I've already used up all of them just trying to get this thing. Ridiculous. But, uh, anyway. Oof. Cracking the knuckles. Alright. Yeah, I just want to say thanks everyone for uh, coming out and hanging out. Even though today was a bit of a short stream. And, uh, yeah, tomorrow, I swear to God, tomorrow, <laughs> Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance has become such a frustrating game for me because I've up to the final boss and it just seems like a difficulty spike. Uh, I ha I have grinded for like four hours yesterday. I got a Riku up 10 more levels. I'm going to try to get him up maybe 10 more hopefully by tomorrow's stream so we could just hopefully go pretty quickly through the uh, final boss but then uh sora is going to be difficult since he's pretty low level and we can't uh, do anything to increase his level at the moment but uh we will see i'm i'm trying for the last two streams i thought it was going to be the final stream so i'm really 
I'm trying to see maybe if the next dream is the final. Oh, dream drop just didn't stream, but who knows? <laughs> I could hit another wall with Sora or something. So, but the plans are tomorrow will be the final dream drop distance stream. Hopefully, if everything goes to plans, which it has not for the last two streams, so. But uh, yeah, we will be get back to uh, Genshin Impact on Thursday. Hopefully, I will see you guys then. And uh, yeah, like I said, we'll probably do it a little longer, a little longer stream then, since uh, today's stream is uh, almost 30 minutes shorter. But uh, yeah, obviously, we'll finish up this. We'll uh, do the new boss fights and all that kind of stuff and we will also check out our home and level all that stuff up uh, i think i'm just gonna do that kind of stuff like finish up this quest do the boss fights check out the new dungeon i keep forgetting there's a new dungeon man and uh we'll check that out and so next week we will start the quests with the multiple endings so noelle's second quest as well as the uh, cat girl's first quest with all the multiple endings we'll start doing those ones next week and uh yeah this weekend will be more near replicant uh if you guys want to see any of my past streams they're all over on my youtube channel which is the link down in the de almost a description it's not the description in the about section below on twitch as well as a link over to my twitter where i tweet out every day when i'm online and what i am playing as well as if there's any interesting trailers that come about um oh yeah uh who was it? was it? i don't think it was game informer i can't remember who it was uh earlier today i saw a video so if you don't know sony a while ago well playstation bought insomniac games which makes ratchet and clank and that new spider-man ps4 game as well as spider-man miles morales game uh, they made a game a while back for, I don't think it was the launch of like the Xbox One, but it was pretty close to the launch called, uh... oh my god, I'm drawing a blank on it. <laughs> Hold on. As soon as I see the name, I'm going to be like that, of course. Uh, Sunset Overdrive, that's what it was. It was their first, like, real open-world game, since, like, a lot of the games have been, like, Ratchet and Clank fairly linear. So, Sunset Overdrive was their first open-world game, which I think a lot of people that played it said it laid the groundwork for the Spider-Man games that came out. And it looked great. Everyone that I know that has played it has said it was amazing and it was super fun, but apparently it didn't do the best or didn't get a lot of attention on Xbox. But now that Sony owns Insomniac Games, hopefully people are saying that maybe they'll re-release it on PlayStation because it was an Xbox exclusive. So maybe we got that looking forward to, some people are saying. So I'm really hoping that will be a thing because I've always wanted to play it. I believe it's out for Xbox One as well as uh, PC. But if it's coming to PS4, definitely want to get it on that. Well, for me personally. But, uh... Yeah, just a little game news, a little rumor mill that's going around. But uh, yeah, thanks everyone for coming out, hanging out. Hopefully I'll catch you guys uh, tomorrow with more Kingdom Hearts or on Thursday. Days of the week are escaping my dumb brain right now. Uh, on Thursday where we will continue Genshin Impact and we'll finish up the story. Get into some boss fights, get into some dungeons. Some shenanigans and whatnot. You know how it is. But uh, yeah, thanks everyone for coming out, hanging out, and I will catch you guys next time. See ya.